it is, uh, I would say, uh, most important uh, early, uh, early part of Christian doctrine. In other words, it's the beginning of the Christian doctrine. Uh, that uh, subject, what we call the sin, uh, particularly original sin. Okay, there are two kinds of sins. Would you write it down? First kind is the original sin. It is singular. The definite article. The original sin. Okay, that's the sin. And second sin is this daily sin. Sins that we, we commit every day. We call it daily sins. So we got two kinds of sins all the time. Original sin and daily sins. Okay? Don't forget that. Sometimes we got mixed up with this. That's why. Now here, in this time, we will be learning... The original sin, original sin, okay, according to the Bible teachings. Uh, in the Bible, in Greek word, okay, sin, sin means in Greek word, hamaltia. He said hamaltia. So you memorize this word, okay, and teach your people too, hamaltia. Then you, you look over the hamaltia in the dictionary. In the dictionary, Greek dictionary, it has this meaning, off the target. You know, you know there is a target for you know, the arrow shooters, okay? That's, that's a military, military uh, language, okay? And then soldiers practicing that arrow, hamaltia means, instead of hitting this target, uh, off target, just hitting some outside of target, okay? That means... Hamaltia, okay, in the uh, military uh, language, okay. So just uh, you just uh, hit uh, with your arrow and got the wrong target, off the target, or some said missing the target. It's the same language, okay. And in a little bit deeper meaning, violation act against the target. God asked us to hit the target, but we violated against God's command. All this inclusively refer to hamaltia, sin. Okay, so sin, as I said before, is nothing to do with the daily sins, such as killing a person or, or lying or stealing. In, you know, in our you know, common understanding of sins, there are many, many people, even including Christians, Okay, understand the sin as a daily sins. Okay, therefore, many people ask you, you guys, you Christian guys, we haven't, we haven't got any committed any sins. I am very honest guy. I am very faithful. You know. I do not speak lie. I do not cheat. I'm a good guy. Why are you Christians always 
calling me, you are sinner. You see? So that sin, we are not talking about moral, moral sins or ethical, ethical, moral or ethical sins. There is nothing to do with original sin. Original sin is nothing to do with moral and ethical okay, perspectives. So when you encounter with, when you face with those people asking you, I haven't committed any sins. Why you guys call me sins? Then you explain the Christian notion of the original sin. That is hamaltia. Hamaltia. Okay. Then we are asking, the second question is, what is the target? What is the, this target? This target in the eyes of God. Okay. Then clearly it is the purpose of creation. Creation purpose. That is the God's target. Are you with me? This is a very crucial uh, question and answer. God who is Elohim God, creator. Elohim, our God, Christian God is creator God. How do we know? His name is God. That means in Hebrew language, Elohim. Elohim means the creator. So the Christian God means creator God. Okay. Thereby, he must have creation purpose. This is a very logical sense, okay? His name is creator. Thereby, he must have the purpose, meaning creation purpose behind. This is a very logical uh, explanation to our people here. Okay? Here, there, he expressed his creation purpose here in Isaiah 43 verses 7 and 21. Isaiah received the purpose of creation by God. He received what is the purpose of creation? It is glorifying and worshiping glorifying and worshiping God. That's the very very significant language here. In other words, God created creatures in order to receive glory and worship from them. That's very important concept here again. Okay, those who are studying out of this uh, video, would you write it down? God created human in order to receive glory and worship from those creatures. Not only human, all the creatures, including even trees and flowers and mountains, even stars, even all kinds of animals, all living creatures.
creatures subject to give glory to the creator God. Then our question comes from our perspectives. Would you write down that question? Then it looks like it looks like our God is very self, self-centered God. Self-centered God. From our perspective, we would we would have asked questions to God. You you see, self-centered God means egoistic God, egoistic God. Okay? Nothing but expecting to satisfy his ego okay, from the creatures. In other words, God created creatures to make himself satisfied. Uh, out of those creatures. That's the questions may come out of all of us. Then we should be able to answer to those questions. What answer would be? According to the Bible teachings, upon receiving, answer is this, God who receives the glory from creatures, then, he said, then he will share his glory. In other words, he will distribute, he will give away his glory and worship. In other words, his satisfaction. He will share with creatures. He will give away his satisfaction, his happiness, sharing with the creatures. So in turn, in turn, creatures will, who, who, who have been satisfied, more happier ever before, will in, in turn give more worship and more glory to God. Then our God will give return back to what he has received that glory so that it will be a cycle relationship giving his glory back to the creatures, and creatures will give more glory to him, and God will give him more and more happiness to them, and so on. So it will be a happy community. Would you write that down? That it's an interesting you know, terminology. The, the kingdom of God is happy community. In order to make the happy community, God, creator God, created all creatures. That is the purpose of creation. Not only receiving God himself, receiving glory, but also he will share his glory with all the creatures. That is the purpose of creation. Okay? Sin means, hamaltia means, okay, someone who breaks that purpose of creation, someone who destroys the purpose of creation. We call it, God calls it sin. Okay, that is different from our daily sins. I just say again, daily sins are committing all kinds of lying and stealing and, and killing and so on. That is nothing to do with the God's interest in dealing with the topic called original sin. I hope you understand that. Okay, 
So when you, this is an evangelism series. Therefore, evangelism means sharing the gospel of Jesus. That's evangelism, we call it. Okay? So this is an evangelism series. Series number one, I say, what is the original sin? So I just gave you the original sin here. Now, in order to fulfill we, God's children, fulfill that, that commandment, purpose of creation. So we know what, what is the purpose of creation. In order to give glory and satisfaction, happiness to God, that is the purpose of creation. Okay? So we, Adam was created, okay, to perform that purpose. See, Adam was created, Adam and Eve created to fulfill the purpose of the creation. Okay? So, in order to fulfill the purpose of creation, God gave him certain privileges, certain provisions, pro privileges and provisions, preparations. Our God always do that. He provided all goodness uh, to Adam to fulfill that Creation purpose. First provision was this. God created him in the image of God. His character. His character. Okay. God gave him that image of God. God's character. In Genesis chapter 1, 26 and 27. Okay. Second, second providence, in other words, second provision, second gift that he received in order to fulfill this is that God gave him authority and power. In other words, ruling power, uh, dominating power, dominating power over all creatures over all creatures in other word adam was the primary creature you know in other word i'm i i want to i want to put it in an easy term he he was the key creature Leading, leading creature uh, who would dominate and control all creatures such as flowers, plants, mountains, and stars, and, and, and birds, and animals, all creatures. In other words, God gave Adam to control rule and dominate all these creatures in order to make them obey the purpose of creation. Okay? In order to make them to obey the purpose of creation. And it was Adam's job to teach Birds and animals and elephants and tigers and mountains and stars to guide them and to teach them and to rule over them, okay, to, to conduct, to satisfy our God. So we human beings are primary creature in other words leading leading top creatures over all remaining creatures 
when we go up to the heaven, we will do that. That is, that is the uh, purpose of God. Okay, that's, for that reason, we, Adam was created in the image of God. For that reason, in the Bible, there, there were no creatures created in the image of God. Would you write that down? Nothing but Adam. Okay? Other creatures had never created in the image of God. So we are specially created beings. In order to conduct the leadership toward all the creatures, okay, to obey the purpose of creation. Are you with me? Yeah. You should be able to teach this to your people step by step. Now, to fulfill that, God gave Adam a very nice place. Okay? It's an exclusive place, the Garden of Eden. Garden of Eden. Genesis chapter 2, verse 10. This is one of the privileges that he had received. Not only that, here, food. God has given him fruit of the tree of life. It's the fruit of the tree of life. That fruit will make him live eternally. Okay, here in Genesis 2.17. Not only that, God has provided him the special wisdom fruit. Wisdom fruit. Okay. The fruit of the tree of the knowledge, knowledge of the good and evil. So this person, Adam, had a special knowledge and understanding and wisdom provided in order to fulfill the purpose of creation by way of training and guiding and dominating all the creatures. That's our job. That's his job. So you can see all these privileges and provisions. Provisions means God's preparations for Adam to do this. God did not say Adam without giving this just simply commanded him do this. He did not he did not do that. He gave him all provisions. Provisions means preparations. All the uh, necessary equipment, necessary things able to perform that duty. So don't forget when you teach with the Bible references I have given you, always use Bible references, okay? And also you read it together with your people. Take your time, read it together, okay? So let them memorize all this. Now, here, we're talking about what is the original sin, okay? Before he was fallen, he was given all this. Okay? Now, all of a sudden here, Adam, in his free will, disobeyed God's command. Okay? Here, his command was this. Do not eat the, tree, the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. Anyway, he got fallen here. He got fallen. Okay? He got fallen means he committed sin. What this sin is? Um, I just given you this. Hamaltia. Off the target. Off the target means off the purpose of creation. Okay? That 
God has provided all this. Are you with me? And missing the target and violation against the target. That's all called hamartia. That's original sin. The consequences, you know that. He got broken relationship with God. It's a broken relationship with God. That's the consequences. That's the consequences. So now, this is just a, just a simple, simple idea. Okay. Simple teachings on what is the original sin. I hope you teach this to your, your congregations. Okay. Slowly, don't do it fast. Step by step, logically. Okay? Thank you. May God bless you.